Hey folks, welcome back to Barbecue Land in Hitchin, Hertfordshire premier barbecue dealer. Today we're going to be cooking some chicken wings on the Kamado Joe Classic 3. All you're going to need for this is an Angus and Oink rub and a Lane's barbecue sauce. So in a minute I'll show you how we're going to prepare the wings and then we're going to fire it up and slow it down on the Kamado Joe Classic 3. Here's how we prepare them. Let me show you how we're going to set up the grill for today's cook. So we're going to have a charcoal on the right hand side. We're going to have a heat deflector on top of that. Then in the top position, we're going to have a standard grill grate. And then we're going to have the searing grate at the bottom. Oh, don't let it all fall down. So we're going to get some indirect cooking done on this side. And then when we're ready to sear the chicken wings, we're going to place them down on the cast iron grate, which is closer to the fire. So in theory, we'll get nice and hot and we'll get some nice charring on the outside of the chicken. Perfect. When preparing my chicken wings, what I like to do is take a really sharp knife and score the chicken wing down to the bone. This allows us access to that meat. The rub will not penetrate through the skin on the outside. So by scoring the chicken wing, we're gonna allow the rub to get into the meat and give us a really nice flavor in the finished product. We're using Angus and Oink's Buffalo Soldier Hot Wing Rub. This is gonna be really tasty. So give your wings a good liberal coating of the rub and then allow them to sit at room temperature or in the fridge for around 30 minutes. Ideally, what you wanna do is allow the rub to let a little bit of moisture form on the outside of the chicken wing. This will help your rub stick when you cook the wings. And as I said at the beginning of the video, we're gonna cook these offset, which basically means we're gonna cook them away from the direct heat. These don't look like they're covered enough, so I'm gonna add a little bit more rub just to be on the safe side. Now for your sauce. Take an oven proof or barbecue proof pot. And in this pot, you want 70 grams of butter. And today we're using Lane's one legged chicken barbecue buffalo wing sauce. So we're gonna use half a bottle of that into our pot. And what we're gonna do is put the pot on the barbecue near the end of the cook to warm the sauce through before we add it to the wings. So we've put the wings on now, we've got a kilo of chicken wings. They're going on the Commander Joe Classic 3, using the divide and conquer system on the higher part of the grill away from the direct heat. Chicken wings are really fatty and if we try to cook them direct for the whole duration of the cook, they'll just burn on the outside and not cook on the inside. We've added our sauce now, so what we wanna do is let the butter melt and combine with the barbecue sauce. We're running the grill today at around 180 degrees Celsius and the chicken wings are nearly at that magic 75 degrees Celsius, which means they're nearly safe to eat and they're nearly done. So we're gonna put them down on our cast iron grill grate just to crisp up that skin and get a nice little bit of color on the outside of the wing. And there we have it, the finished product. Nice, crispy on the outside, tender in the middle, and we're gonna pour over our sauce. The maple mousse butter contains maple syrup, so that's gonna add a really nice, sticky, glossy texture to the wing. And we're just gonna toss them in the bowl, let them set, and then we're gonna tip them out on the board. And don't forget, any leftover sauce, you're gonna drizzle that over. Look at that, pure opulence, amazing. Chicken wings cooked on the Kamado Joe Classic 3 using Angus and Oink Buffalo Soldier Rub and Lane's One-Legged Barbecue Sauce. Thanks for joining us once again at Barbecue Land and Hitchin. They were chicken wings on the Kamado Joe Classic 3. And anything you saw in the video today, you can buy from Barbecue Land. I will put the link in the description below and you can stock up for the sunny weather that we seem to be enjoying today. So thanks again for joining us and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll be back next week with some more cooking advice and tips on how to get the best out of your barbecue. See you later.